about previous set counts there against Corrin's. There is no games uh, on record between Riddles and Nao, but Ooh. in terms of Riddles versus Shattuck, uh, Riddles took the first time they ever played together at Super Smash Bros. 2023, but then the last two times Shattuck had played Riddles, it has been 3-1 and 3-0. Okay. So this could be a bit of a boon character for Riddles, depending on uh, how things may have developed or what the characters may have been at that time. Yeah, so Riddles has seen enough corn to be pretty well versed in it, but hasn't seen Nao. Um, I'm interested to see how the vertical mix as opposed to the horizontal, or how the horizontal mix will do um, from Nao. I imagine it's going to be pretty effective in this matchup, but Kazuya can get so fast when he gets to crouch dash him. Another little bit of information, too, is that Kazuya's working out really well here, but the time that Riddles did beat Shad, it, it was with the Terry. So if this starts to go oh, a little yeah. sideways, could maybe see a bit of a character change coming out, but things seem to be going very well, especially with Kazuya to start. Yeah, I do know that Riddles wants to commit more and more to just making Kazuya work. Um, I've heard him say that he wants to make Kazuya work against Samus and a few other bad matchups, so potentially just going to stick out with his boy here as Riddles. As Nao is going to try and make it back to ledge. The re grab doesn't go punished. Ooh. Down tilt up air is a great answer back, though. Super deep for that one. Are we making it back to stage? No. Bit off a little more than you could chew there. Is Nao Riddles getting a, uh, a high percentage gift? Whoa. But still, we can take this one to distance with all this rage. Speaking of gifts, that F smash doesn't get accepted by Riddles. That could have been a much larger punish. And now, Delta up here not quite going to get it done. As Riddles now at 130% gets caught with the pin. Nao's going to take that stock. Good stuff. Up airs to get it started here. That's the fastest move that Kazuya has in the air. And actually, a huge hitbox. So I love if you had an option to kind of stuff out stuff in the air. The jump thwarted. Riddle's able to get feet back on the ground immediately, though. Okay, terrifying. So much shield pressure. So fast as Kazuya. He can just jump, like, jump start and find himself right behind you. He gets that stage positioning so quick. Nao has done a good job scrapping back and forth, though, and kind of not allowing Riddles to take that space and scare him back, scare him off his ground. And a neutral be out of shield from Nao, a rare option. But it's potent nonetheless, 94%. Yeah, letting the dragon eat here too. Up smash not going to connect. We will find an up B though. Not enough platform to work with to get the up smash, but up B will work just as good. Riddles frames away from getting caught with an F smash as well. As Nao continues wow. to put on strong pressure and a great parry coming through from, from Riddles. Yeah, just the one hit hell sweep coming by there too. That was interesting, but we'll take the damage where we can find it. Speaking of damage, Nao tacking on just a little bit that dragon, as you mentioned earlier, coming out to play Dancing today. And now, oh, the electric is right up in your muffin onto the platform. And that's a piece of cake with a nice upbeat and finish up that stuff. Yeah, beautiful stuff there, too. Able to get up. When going into Crumple versus Kazuya, there's so many times you can, as Kazuya, throw out like a free hit. Like in, tech, like in uh, Street Fighter, you get like a free jump in the corner if you get your opponent in Crumble sometimes. And it's kind of this similar situation where you can get the free hit out to cover the timing, and then you can go back in with like your further follow-up confirm. Like you can throw out like a jab one while they're in Crumple to like right, time, right. to time their get up properly and get the, uh, the best punish possible. Yeah, and you can kind of mix up that timing by pausing or just throwing out multiple and covering it a few times, you know? Uh, Riddles does a very good job so consistently. And now we're thinking about the stage pick. Thought is going into it. And the thing about Nao um, in this matchup is that Nao kind of has a few different play styles at his disposal. I've kind of seen him do this in, um, in a few sets where he will just totally strip back his play style and play super consistent, or he will amp it up to 100 and start playing super flashy and in a way that you don't see very often. So I wonder what brand of Nao we're going to see come out here. Mm -hmm. He's very methodical, as you can see with his thought. The way he sits and takes time in between sets um, is very admirable to me, at least. He likes to think about what's coming up next. Mm -hmm. Small Battlefield will be the venue for this game, too, running it back to what we had last game. I would doubt to see a good change coming in from Nao. Riddles, obviously very happy with the result that was given by the Kazuya there. Yeah, the Kazuya is going to stay out in full force as long as possible. As Riddles comes in. Up 1-0. It's on Nao to switch things up here. Drawing first blood immediately. That pinch coming through. But Riddles has something to say about it. Getting pushed out of shield by the electric ring. God fist too. But no further follow-up going to happen. Oh, love that too. The weak hit on that forward hit of Nair. What a find with the dragon fang. Hey, let that thing eat. Getting creative now is Nao. Pristine use of neutral B from both Nao and Shattuck in all of these games that we're seeing. 
Nice jab as well to chase off stage. Riddle's got to be feeling a little bit threatened. Mayo's been going for the down air to two frame much yeah. more so than pin. Maybe just a thing of positioning. It's harder to get back far enough to go for that pin in time. It's interesting too because if it misses, you are so much closer to the ledge and closer to Kazuya. It's right. really scary. Yeah, so it's interesting to see Nail going for that so much, or maybe even going for some kind of awkward hitbox to drag Riddles down yeah. as opposed wow. to send him outward like the pin would. Yeah, explosive interaction there as Riddles just runs right through it. Grabs you with the body slam is going to take that stock. Rage drive coming out in full force here, especially that amount of rage. It is crazy. Not going to charge anything in that shield. Oh my goodness. Just a question hey. kick. Oh my god. Hey. What a stock to find from Riddles. Holy. Oh my. Nair down smash is one of the most brutal combos in this game. Oh, not it again. hits like a truck. He threatened it. He wanted it. And now the uppy is going to send Riddles back. As Nao gets a nice little side B, able to settle in, not get thrown too far off his rocket. Downer finding a small hit, but Riddles just seems to be, I don't know what they put in the water up there in Toronto, but it seems <laughs> to be feeding well. Yeah, the timing is on point. Riddles is finding so many parries, and Kazuya, one of the characters that benefits from, from parries the most. You can get such potent punishes off of just one simple parry, and oh up onto God. that platform, another Who parry. So many are coming out for Riddles. It's so hard for Nao to mix up this timing. Riddles just seems to be in his head with all of his landings. It's a nice little mix up there from Nao to push him to the corner, but isn't rewarded with a hit. A combo will confirm. He's just rewarded with stage position, with, which Riddles has just been ripping away this whole game. Yeah. Put the boots on him and take that stock. Super happy to just maneuver around the stage with Riddles, giving and taking stage at at will. Able to work out of absolutely any situation. Yeah, at will is right. It's it's just been a thing of Riddles moving forward and Nao not being able to hold him back. One thing that I think about so often as an important factor in this game is how often you're able to throw your opponent off their rhythm and force them to respect your options. And so far, Riddles hasn't, uh, Nail rather, hasn't really been forcing Riddles to respect the options. Riddles has just kind of been able to run in and impose his game plan, which granted, it is Kazuya, it is pretty hard to do that. But Nail just needs to be able to find um, better ways to catch these approach options in a way that's potent enough to scare Riddles back. Big stage to be played on here, too. Nao could be finding a lot more survivability here, too. And I think that might be the name of the game, as again, as was in the first game, uh, the second game, I should say. First blood being drawn, but Riddle Dude. immediately back with an insane conversion. The dash is forward. This is so intimidating. It's terrifying as the up smash just barely misses, but Riddle's still hot on the case. Nao finds a small hit to break it all up. And my goodness, a man on fire. Yeah, hot on the case. He's a detective. He's stuffing out all these options. He's got a magnifying glass. He's inspecting that jump. Cleans it up with the back air. Riddle's playing very well right now. Oh, Electric, what do we got on this platform? Just the back air turnaround, too. Oh, looking for an Electric immediately. You found that. The reconverged in Open Hell's Gate. This what? is getting kind of gross as Riddles looks to be in firm control of this game. What Just another hell? connection. Nail cannot find footing. He wanted a bigger stage, but it hasn't worked out. Riddles is all over him. Electric, what do we got here, too? Dude. We know where you're going. 22%? Is that all you're getting now? Michael Him! Oh! Michael Kim! That's For Michael three. Him, baby! Oh my god! A three stock in just over a minute! What are you talking about? That was one of the most.